Cavite City, officially the city of Cavite, Tagalog, Lungsod ng Cavite, Chavacano, Ciudad de Cavite, is a fourth-class city in the province of Cavite, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 102,806 people. The city was the capital of Cavite Province from the latter's establishment in 1614 until 1954, when it was transferred to the newly created city of Trece Martires near the center of the province. It started as the small port town of Cavite Puerto that prospered during the early Spanish colonial period when it became the main seaport of Manila hosting the Manila-Acapulco galleon trade and the port used for other heavy and larger sea-bound ships. Thereafter, San Roque and La Caridad, two former independent towns of Cavite province, were later added to form one municipality. The present larger Cavite city now includes the communities of San Antonio, includes Cañacao and Sangli Point, the southern districts of Santa Cruz and Dalahican, and the outlying islands of the province, including the historic Corregidor Island. History Etymology There are several names attributed to present-day Cavite City. Its early settlers, who were Tagalogs, called it Tangway, meaning peninsula. The name Cavite evolved from the word kawit or kawit meaning hook, as people from other places refer to it, referring to the hook shaped land along the coast of Bacor Bay. It was mispronounced by the Spaniards as Kawait or Cavite, there being no K in the Castilian alphabet, then changing W to V so as to conform to their accentuation. The Chinese traders or the Sanglis who came to Cavite to do business with the natives called it Keet, a corruption of the word Kawit. Pre-Hispanic era The early inhabitants of Cavite City were the Tagalogs ruled by the Kampilan and the Bullhorn of Adatu, the tribal form of government. According to folklore, the earliest settlers came from Borneo, led by Gat Hiniji and his wife Diang Kalivanog who bore seven children. Archaeological evidences in the coastal areas show prehistoric settlements. Spanish colonial period On May 16, 1571 the Spanish conquistador Miguel López de Legazpi declared the region a royal encomienda, or royal land grant. Spanish colonizers settled in the most populated area of the place, present-day Kawit, they called it Cavite. The old Tangway at the tip of the Cavite Peninsula, across Bacor Bay was referred to as Cavite La Punta meaning, Point of Cavite, or Cavite Point. Upon discovering that because of its deep waters, Cavite La Punta was a suitable place for the repair and construction of Spanish ships and galleon, the Spanish moved their settlement there and called it Cavite Nuevo, New Cavite, or plainly Cavite, while the first settlement was renamed Cavite Viejo, and in the early 20th century, regained its former name, Cahuit. In 1590, the Spaniards fortified Cavite Nuevo with a Marala high thick curtain walls on its western, northern and eastern side while the side fronting Bacor Bay remained open. Fort Guadalupe on the easternmost tip was also built at the same time, and the town became the Puerto de Cavite, Port of Cavite or Cavite Puerto. The Fort of San Felipe Neri and Porta Vega Gate were constructed in 1595 and completed in 1602. Puerta Vega, corrupted to Porta Vega, was the port city's Barbican western and only principal entrance from San Roque. It was flanked by the western wall protected by two bastions at its north and southern end. The wall and gate were also separated from the mainland by a moat, which also made the town like an island. Cavite was officially founded as a town in 1614 with Tomas Salazar as the earliest known governor solo recorded. At the same time, the town became the capital of the new politico-military province of Cavite, established also in 1614. Like some other provinces during the Spanish era, the province adapted the name of its capital town, e.g., Bulacan, Bulacan, Tayabas, Tayabas, now Quezon Province, Tarlac, Tarlac, Manila, Manila Province, Balayan, Balayan Province, now Batangas, Tal, Tal, now Batangas, and the present Batangas, Batangas. San Roque was founded as a separate town also in 1614. It was placed under the civil administration of Cavite Puerto until it was granted a right to be a separate and an independent municipality in 1720. 
La Caridad, formerly known as La Estanzuela of San Roque, separated and was founded as town in 1868. The Spanish Governor-General José de la Gardana granted the petition of the people led by Don Justo Miranda to make Barrio La Estanzuela an independent town. City of Churches as the town was progressing, it also became a cosmopolitan town that attracted the different religious orders to set up churches, convents and hospitals within the limited confines of the fortified town. The Franciscan Hospital de San Jose, St. Joseph Hospital, was built for sailors and soldiers in 1591, the San Diego de Alcala Convent in 1608, the Porta Vega, La Ermita, Our Lady of Loreto, Jesuit, San Juan de Dios, Street. John of God, Santo Domingo, Dominicans, Santa Monica, Recollects, and San Pedro, the Port's Parish Church. At the most, the fortified town enclosed eight churches, the Jesuit College of San Ildefonso, public buildings and residences, which served the needs of its population of natives, soldiers and workers at the port, transients and passengers on board the galleons. It was also during those times when it was called Tierra de Maria Santissima. Land of Most Holy Mary, because of the popularity of the Marian devotion in this place. Plazas and parks were evidence of importance, Plaza de Armas across from San Felipe Fort, Plaza de San Pedro across from the church and Plaza Soledad across from Porta Vega, Plaza del Reparo was at the bayside. Manila Acapulco Galleon Trade The port of Cavite, Puerto de Cavite, was linked to the history of world trade. Spanish galleons sailed every July to Acapulco, Mexico, while another ship sailed from Acapulco to Cavite. Galleons and other heavy ocean-going ships were not able to enter the port of Manila along Pasig River because of a sandbar that limits entrance to the river port only to light ships. For this reason, the port of Cavite was regarded as the port of Manila, the main seaport of the capital city. At the height of the Manila Acapulco galleon trade, the port of Cavite was the arrival and departure port of the Spanish galleons that brought many foreign travelers, mostly Spaniards and Latinos, to its shores. The port of Cavite was fondly called Ciudad de Oro Macizo, meaning the city of solid gold. The Chinese emperor at one time sent some of his men to this place they called Keat Cavite, to search for gold. Between 1609 and 1616 the galleons Espiritu Santo and San Miguel were constructed in the shipyard of the port, called the Astillero de Rivera, Rivera Shipyard of Cavite, sometimes spelled as Rivera. San Roque Isthmus the narrow San Roque Isthmus or Causeway, now M. Valentino Street, connected Cavite Puerto to San Roque Town, its only border town. Maps from the 17th century shows that this narrow isthmus was wider, as wide as the town itself. Problems with rising water and the encroaching waves that plagued Cavite Puerto since the beginning must have eroded the land into a narrow isthmus. American colonial period Control over the port was turned over to the Americans by Spain after the Treaty of Paris of 1898 at the turn of the 19th century. At the start of the American era, Cavite Puerto became the seat of the U.S. naval forces in the Philippines. It was redesigned to make way for modern ships and armaments. The ruinous historical structures like Fort Guadalupe were demolished, along with most of Fort San Felipe. Local government administration was under the renamed Presidentes Municipals with the direct supervision of the American Army officers, the first being Colonel Meade. The first Filipino Presidentes Municipals were appointed, Don Zacaria Fortic for Cavite Puerto, Don Francisco Basa for San Roque, and Don Pedro Riqueño Bautista for Caridad. In 1900, the Caviteños tasted their first election under the American regime. They elected in each pueblo or town, local officials called Presidente Municipal, Vice Presidente Municipal and a Consejo Council, composed of Consejalas councilors. They elected Don Gregorio Basa as Presidente Municipal of the town now known as Cavite City. In 1901, the Philippine Commission approved a municipal code as the organic law of all local governments throughout the country. In its implementation in 1903, the three separate pueblos of Cavite Puerto, San Roque and La Caridad were merged into one municipality, which was called the Municipality of Cavite. By virtue of a legislative act promulgated by the First Philippine Assembly, Cavite was again made the capital of the province. 
Subsequently, its territory was enlarged to include the district of San Antonio and the island of Corregidor. The municipality of Cavite functioned as a civil government whose officials consisted of a Presidente Municipal, a Vice Presidente Municipal and ten concejales duly elected by the qualified voters of the municipality. In 1909, Executive Order No. 124, of Governor General W. Cameron Forbes, declared the Act No. 1748, annexing Corregidor and the islands of Caballo, Fort Hughes, La Manja, El Fraile, Fort Drum, Sta. Amalia, Carabao, Fort Frank, and Limbones, as well as all waters and detached rocks surrounding them, to the municipality of Cavite. World War II on December 10, 1941, two days after an attack that had destroyed American air defenses at Clark Field and three days after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, Japanese Imperial forces destroyed Cavite Naval Base and bombed Cavite City. Later, after Japan seized the Philippines, Japanese leaders appointed at least two city mayors of Cavite City. The island of Corregidor played an important role during the Japanese invasion of the Philippines. The island was the site of two costly sieges and pitched battles, the first during the first months of 1942, and the second in January 1945, between the Imperial Japanese Army and the U.S. Army, along with its smaller subsidiary force, the Philippine Army. In 1945 during the fight for the liberation of the country from Japanese hands, the U.S. and Philippine Commonwealth military bombarded the Japanese forces stationed in the city, completely destroying the old historic port city of Cavite. The old walls and the Porta Vega Gate were damaged. Most of the structures were destroyed while some of the church towers remained. The city was littered with bomb craters. After the war, the city's local administration resumed the way it was before the war. The walls, gate and ruins of the old city were later removed. Only the bell tower of the Santa Monica Church of the Recollects and the two bastions of Fort San Felipe remain of the old city. Cityhood Under the Philippine Commonwealth, Assemblyman Manuel S. Rojas, grandfather of Mayor Bernardo Paredes, sponsored Commonwealth Act No. 547 elevating Cavite Town to a chartered city. Upon approval into law on September 7, 1940, the executive function of the city was vested in a city mayor appointed by the President of the Philippine Commonwealth. The legislative body of the city of Cavite was vested on a municipal board composed of three electives, two appointive and two ex officio councillors, the presiding officer of which is the city mayor. The city lost capital status in 1954 when Trece Martires was created in the central part of the province as a planned capital city. In 1972, City Mayor Manuel S. Rojas was assassinated in the nearby town of Bacor, Cavite. Geography The city of Cavite occupies most of the hook-shaped Cavite Peninsula that juts into Manila Bay. The peninsula is bounded by Bacor Bay to the southeast. The peninsula ends at two tips, Sangli Point and Cavite Point. Kanyakao Bay is the body of water formed between Sangli Point and Cavite Point. The latter was the location of the old historic port of Cavite. Both Bacor and Kanyakao Bays are inland bays of the larger Manila Bay. The city's only land border is the municipality of Noveleta to the south. The city is the northernmost settlement in the province of Cavite, which lies southwest from Manila with a direct distance of about 11 kilometers (6.8 miles) but about 35 kilometers (22 miles) by road. Sangli Point, the former location of the United States Sangli Point Naval Base, is the northernmost part of the city, peninsula and province. The former American military naval base has since been converted into a Philippine military base. The historic island of Corregidor, the adjacent islands and detached rocks of Caballo, Carabao, El Fraile and La Manja found at the mouth of Manila Bay are part of the city's territorial jurisdiction. Climate Subdivisions The city proper is divided into five districts, Dalahican, Santa Cruz, Caridad, San Antonio, and San Roque. These districts are further subdivided into eight zones and a total of 84 barangays. 
Barangays Cavite City is politically subdivided into 84 barangays. Transfer of Provincial Capital Republic Act No. 981, passed by the Congress of the Philippines in 1954, transferred the capital of the province from Cavite City to the newly established Trece Martires City. Subsequently, the city charter was amended. By virtue of an amendment to the charter of Cavite City, the city mayor, city vice mayor and eight councillors were elected by popular suffrage. The first election of city officials was held in 1963. Reclamation in the latter part of 1960s or early 1970s, the land adjacent to the San Roque Isthmus was reclaimed. The new land is now occupied by the San Sebastian College, Ricoletas de Cavite and some residential houses. The present Cavite City Hall is built where the north tower end of the western wall was, which was already partly reclaimed by 1945. Half of the old port city, including Fort San Felipe, is now occupied by naval base Cavite and is closed to the public. The old historic core of Cavite is now part of the San Roque district of Cavite City and is referred today as either Fort San Felipe or Porta Vega. The former location of the Porta Vega Gate, the Western Wall and its towers are now occupied by the Governor Samant Park. Demographics in the 2015 census, the population of Cavite City was 102,806 people, with a density of 9,400 inhabitants per square kilometer or 24,000 inhabitants per square mile. Religion Nuestra Señora de la Soledad de Porta Vega, Our Lady of Solitude of Porta Vega, is the patroness of Cavite City and the celestial guardian and protector of the entire province of Cavite since her arrival in Cavite Shore. The most venerated image of Our Lady of Porta Vega is an invaluable treasure inherited by the Caviteños from their ancestors. This is the oldest existing dated Marian painting in the Philippines. The image of the Virgin is painted on a canvas. The Virgin is depicted as a lady in mourning. Mary, garbed in black and white attire, seems to be on her knees as she contemplates the passion of her son. Before her are the crown of thorns and the nails instrument of Christ's passion. An inscription was found at the back of the painting, a dos de abril 1692 años Juan Oliva puso esta stma. Imagen haka, which means. The sacred image was placed here by Juan Oliva on April 12, 1692. This particular icon was used to bless the galleon plying between Cavite and Acapulco, Mexico, during formal sending-off ceremonies. Thus, she was also called the patroness of the galleons. The image was originally enshrined at the Ermita de Porta Vega, a small church located adjacent to the Porta Vega gate of Cavite Puerto and was destroyed during the last World War. The image is presently enshrined at the San Roque Parish Church, one of the three parishes in the city. Other religious groups in the city include the Aglipayan Church, Iglesia Ni Cristo INC, Jehovah's Witnesses, United Church of Christ in the Philippines UCCP, Jesus as Lord Church Jill, the United Methodist Church, Presbyterian Churches, Baptists and Bible Fundamental Churches, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Members Church of God International or Ang Dating Don and other UPC churches. Languages Chavacano is a Spanish-influenced Creole language formerly spoken by majority of the people living in the city of Cavite. Chavacano emerged sometime after the arrival of the first Spaniards and Mexicans in the late 16th century. During this period, the people that lived near the military arsenal in Cavite City put themselves in contact with the Spaniards and Mexicans and began to incorporate in their own dialect many Spanish words, which then gave birth to the Creole. Majority of residents today speak Tagalog. Today, Chavacano is generally considered to be dying with only a fraction of the people, mostly elderly, able to speak the language. According to the Philippine professor, Alfredo B. German who wrote a thesis on the grammar in Chavacano dialect, the present conditions no longer favor the disenrollment of the same one. There are many probable reasons for the diminishing of Chavacano, among these being the massive arrival of Tagalog-speaking migrants to the city of Cavite, and intermarriage. 
One of the poets and Philippine writers, Jesus Balmori expressed himself in Chabacano. He was a great admirer of the dialect and wrote several verses in it. Another admirer of this dialect was Don Jaime de Vera, the illustrious writer and famous Philippine historian, who feared more than all the probable extinction of the Chabacano when he wrote the following prophetic lines. I am afraid that the inevitable absorption of the Tagalog invasion, on one side and the invasion of the English on the other hand, will wipe out or extinguish this inherited Castilian language in existence with his last representatives in the following generation. Professor Gervasio Miranda who also wrote a book in Chabacano said in his preface the following thing. My only objective to write this book is to possibly conserve in written form the Chabacano of Cavite for posterity, fearing the extinction of the dialect. Culture Festivals and events The city is home to the annual Cavite City Water Festival or Regatta, held every 17th and 24th day of June. It is a festive and religious celebration of the Feast of St. John the Baptist. Regatta started in 1996 and features the Pollen or Basayawan which is a street party where celebrators dance under water sprinklers. Infrastructure Transportation The only road connecting Cavite City to the rest of Luzon is the National Route 62, which begins at P. Burgos Avenue in Caridad District and continues towards Noveleta as the Manila-Cavite Road, not to be confused with Manila-Cavite Expressway. A proposal to construct an expressway from Kawit to Cavite City via Bacor Bay has been raised to the Department of Public Works and Highways DPWH. When realized, the expressway would serve as a link to Manila Cavite Expressway Cavitex. Cavite City has one airport, Danilo Atienza Air Base, located at Sangli Point. The airport is operated by the Philippine Air Force. It was formerly a U.S. naval base, called Naval Station Sangley Point, until it was turned over to the Philippine government in 1971. There are proposals to convert the base into a civilian airport, as a solution to the overcrowding of Ninoy Aquino International Airport. There are no active water-based public transportation services in Cavite City as of 2018. Metro Steri Ferry, which began operations in 2007, used to serve trips from San Roque District to Pasay City, Metro Manila. Utilities Water services are currently provided by Minilat. Meanwhile, electric services are provided by Maralca. Symbols Seal The current seal of the city was designed by Mayor Timoteo O. Encarnacion, Jr. It was adopted by the Sangguniang Panlungsod through Resolution No. 140-90, then approved by the local executive on September 7, 1990. On November 3, 1993, the National Historical Institute and the President, through the Department of Interior and Local Government issued a Certificate of Registration recognizing the new seal. The shield stands for bravery and fortitude. The colors red, white, blue, yellow stand for the loyalty of the people to its government. The inclusion of the rays portrays the role of Cavite as one of the original provinces that rose up in arms against Spanish domination in 1896 in the Philippine Revolution. The white triangle inscribed within the shield with the letters KKK at the corners represents the part played by the city in the organization of the Katipunan. Don Ladislao de Wa of the city was one of the triumvirate who organized the patriotic group. Many Katipuneros came from the city. Within the white triangle are symbols representing various events. At the bottom of the triangle is a fort with figures. 1872. Symbolizing the Cavite Mutiny of 1872 at the Cavite Arsenal. At the background is a map of the city including the island of Corregidor representing the role of the island in the city's history. The obelisk at the left, memorializes the 13 martyrs of Cavite who were executed by the Spaniards on September 12, 1896. The sheet music at the right symbolizes Julian Felipe, composer of the Philippine National Anthem who was from the city. 
the fort symbol representing the royal fort of San Felipe and its role in the city and country's history being the place where the 13 martyrs of Cavite were detained and where the Cavite mutiny of 1872 took place. The scroll on the uppermost portion of the triangle contains the city motto, Para Dios y Patria, for God and country, in Chavacano dialect to emphasize the native dialect of the city. The green laurel leaf encircling the right and left portions of the KKK triangle symbolizes victories by reason. Flag The flag of the city created by Mayor Timoteo O. Encarnacion Jr. and was adopted by the Sangguniang Panlungsod through Resolution No. 95081 dated September 6, 1995 in time for the 55th Cavite City Charter Day. The meaning, symbol and significance of the flag components The two red strips symbolize courage and bravery. The middle green strip symbolizes progress and advancement. The half sun has a twofold meaning. If the rising sun, it means the hope, dreams and visions for progress. If the setting sun, it stands for the sunset that can be seen in the city's western shores. The five yellow stars symbolize the five districts of Cavite City. The three sets of waves below the half sun, in three colors of navy blue, light blue and white. It signifies that Cavite City is a peninsula surrounded by water while the three colors represent Cañacao Bay, Bacor Bay and Manila Bay. Education Notable people Sister City Cavite City has one sister city, as designated by Sister Cities International San Diego, California, United States References External links Official Cavite City Government Website Official website of the Cavite City Library and Museum Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information